Hello everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at a caricature that I did for a friend of mine named Drea. Uh, just a point of note here, we're doing this this morning because Drea is a veteran. So this is a little bit of a celebration of her on Veterans Day. And thank you for uh, supplying a picture so that way I could do this pic uh, drawing. Now this drawing was done about two months ago. And you see immediately I jump right into it, just kind of laying out the rough sketch. Um, the eyes are big. It's on purpose. She has very, very expressive eyes. And uh, if you saw the original photograph this came from, uh, she did a really good job, impeccable, of getting her makeup done as well, which is why you may notice there's some red blush around the nose, the cheeks, and up the upper part of the forehead. Um, drawing in the hair. I thought it might have been a little bit of a challenge, but the reality is that I kind of just did it in layers here. Uh, so I started with kind of a, uh, a dark kind of a charcoal gray laying in the scribble, but you'll see I'll kind of build layer over layer on top of it as time goes on and it'll give it that thickness along with some of the highlights that come in later. Now what I really tried to do with this one is try to eliminate any sort of sense of a, of, of a comic book style outline or a pen and ink type outline and do this more of a, a painterly approach, which is why you may also notice the, the great background there. Uh, great backgrounds help us to kind of see the difference between light and darker skin tones, and even like clothing tones and stuff like that. It gives you a more true sense of what color is. Uh, white being the brightest thing there is, is a very hard thing to kind of compare colors up against and kind of make you misjudge things here and there. So gray kind of gives you that tonal mid ground to help out with that. Now, um, the way that I build my drawings and my caricatures in general like this is that I start by putting in uh, all my flat colors like a lot of people do, but then I go in with shadow layers and then later come in with the highlights, which is what you're seeing right now. With both shadow layers, I put them in, then kind of lower the opacity. I do the same thing with the highlights. They may seem very bright right now, but a little bit later I'm going to go back in and lower the opacity so that way it doesn't seem as stark of a comparison. Now, uh, once this is all said and done, you may notice I put in highlights of the lips, try to give it that sense of three-dimensionality, same thing with the hair, and then eventually go in and start working in shadows and, of course, the highlights also in the jacket as well. Last but not least, we start putting in a couple of the detail type things, uh, uh, the eyelashes, the uh, shadow underneath the chin, the uh, little scribbles to kind of add some of those kind of flyaway hairs. And then you'll eventually you'll see that I'm going to finish this whole thing up by adding in something of a colored background to kind of give everything balance. To get away from that gray, we're going to end up on a blue. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more. 